Welcome to the Myeloma University module titled Survivorship and Self-Management in Multiple Myeloma. My name is Beth Feynman and I am a nurse practitioner at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. In this short discussion, we will review the importance of survivorship in multiple myeloma, answer the question, what is self-management, and highlight ways you support patients through the disease trajectory. Now let's begin. Recent successes in the treatment of multiple myeloma have led to dramatic improvements in the overall health of those with the disease and improved survival rates. In fact, over 62% of patients are living more than five years past diagnosis, and many patients are living 10 years or more. Because of these advancements in drug discovery and supportive care measures, many patients with myeloma can live even longer than the projected survival rates, underscoring the importance of survival care planning. However, a longer lifespan is counterbalanced by cumulative physical, financial, and psychosocial issues that require a multidisciplinary team to monitor and manage. In addition, the cumulative effects of long-term therapy place patients at an increased risk of secondary cancers. But through enacting survivorship and self-management principles, the patient's risk of morbidity from these secondary conditions can be reduced. Survivorship is highly important, especially with the newer therapies such as CAR T-cell therapy and bispecific antibodies. So today I would like to talk with you about the essential components of survivorship, discuss the concept of self-management, and review what nurses and healthcare providers can do to encourage healthy behaviors so that the patient can remain fit for their subsequent treatments and live their best lives. So what are survivorship and self-management and why are these concepts important? First, let's talk about survivorship. Survivorship was once considered to be given after the patient completed cancer treatment. However, most patients with multiple myeloma will likely need to continue treatment throughout their lifespan of some sort, often with unpredictable and intermittent periods of remission and relapse. Advances in myeloma diagnosis, treatment, and supportive care have led to a longer lifespan, and myeloma is now viewed as a chronic illness. So a commonly recognized definition of survivorship in multiple myeloma is that survivorship begins at diagnosis rather than later in the disease course and continues through the balance of the patient's life. Although it may be overwhelming for patients and caregivers to consider themselves as survivors at diagnosis, it is appropriate for nurses and caregivers to highlight this point and share optimism for the future with so many available therapies that physicians and providers can offer to patients to control their myeloma. Now next is self-management. Self-management of chronic illness refers to daily activities to keep one's disease under control, minimize its impact on physical health and function, and help the patient to cope with psychosocial impacts of the illness. Examples of self-management in myeloma include managing the uncertainty in the diagnosis, finding emotional strike, seeking support, medication management, and activity management. Empowering patients and their caregivers to take control of their health through supporting self-management strategies is essential to survivorship care. Patients and caregivers can be valuable partners to primary care providers and the oncology team in ongoing care to ensure proper testing to assess the remission status and monitoring for secondary illnesses and health conditions. Now we discussed that one survivorship journey begins at myeloma diagnosis and emphasize that self-management strategies are important throughout the disease trajectory. But what are the critical components of survivorship? Well, there are many, and some include age-appropriate health and cancer secondary screenings, such as colon, breast, prostate, and lung, regular primary care provider visits for screening of cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and other health conditions, referrals to specialists for difficult-to-manage conditions such as uncontrolled diabetes or difficult to control blood pressure. The oncology team is dedicated to support each patient throughout their myeloma treatment, but having a primary care provider available to manage general conditions is especially important if the patient lives far away from the treatment center or in the community. Survivorship isn't just about daily health maintenance such as eating healthy foods when you can or maintaining regular physical activity, it is also about knowing your disease status. Nurses and providers should encourage patients to visit their myeloma providers for regular disease monitoring and address the physical, financial, and psychosocial issues throughout the disease trajectory. Survivorship is so important 
that the National Academy of Medicine recommends a survivorship care plan for each survivor. This includes both a record of care and a follow-up care plan. The record of care lists information regarding the patient's diagnosis, including their test results, treatments, and other supportive services that have been engaged, and contact information for the members of the healthcare team. The follow-up plan should include the recommended ongoing health maintenance testing and treatment, what the recommended treatment screenings are, and potential long-term effects of treatment, as well as resources for healthy living and support services. In general, as with many cancers, we know that management of other existing health conditions and maintaining a healthy weight and a nutritious diet are known to improve outcomes. Encourage your patients to take an active role in their health. Many patients are encouraged to know there is something they can do to contribute to their own well-being, and research has supported a link between increasing weight to increasing incidence of both MGUS, the precursor to myeloma, and active myeloma. So what can nurses do to encourage survivorship? Well, first, encourage the patient to contribute to their own well-being through proactive management of coexisting health conditions, regular visits to a primary care provider, as well as being an active participant in their oncology healthcare team. Give patients permission to be upfront about side effects they may be experiencing, as well as physical, financial, or social concerns they have. The cumulative effects of these can be worrisome for patients and their caregivers, especially as many patients may not be able to work as much or at all with myeloma, depending on what their phase of their treatment they're in. And finally, care coordination and disease monitoring are just as important to maintaining a healthy weight and a nutritious diet to keep you fitter and healthier for your next treatment if needed and for the patient to live their best life possible. In this module, we discuss the importance of survivorship and self-management during the multiple myeloma journey. For more information, please see these additional resources and watch for additional segments in this series. Thank you.